Good morning and welcome to Vlogsember day 18. Alright, so I've kind of had a rough morning. I wasn't even going to pick up my vlog camera to be honest because I thought I was going to have to go to the hospital. I was like super nervous. I had high anxiety. Um, my blood pressure was super high this morning at home and usually it's only high at the doctors. It's like a nervous thing. It's the white coat syndrome. But I just noticed when I was packing your orders, which I'll ship today, I noticed that my heart rate felt really high and I looked at my watch and it said 135. And I was like, okay, that's pretty high. That's pretty high for me just like packing orders. So I decided to check my blood pressure and that was super high. It was 144 over 84. So I just decided to call my doctors and I was like getting prepared to like go into the hospital. I was thinking the worst. I was thinking I was gonna have to be admitted. Um, I just instantly thought of the worst thing. I was like, oh my God, am I gonna have to have this baby like right now? I don't know, I, my mind was everywhere. So I called the doctor, I talked to the nurse. She said to just monitor my blood pressure throughout the weekend. If I have any headaches or blurriness of vision to call back and if it's over like 150. So I'm gonna keep on an eye on my blood pressure. I did drink coffee like 10 to 15 minutes before I took my blood pressure and started feeling like my heart was high. Um, so I'm wondering if it's the caffeine I'm gonna probably not have coffee tomorrow just to see if it affects me at all. But yeah, it was kind of a scary morning and I just think lately I've been doing too much. I know Scott's been telling me like to just relax and settle down and like stop doing so much throughout the day because I seriously do a lot and I like doing a lot. Like I, ma I like making checklists and accomplishing things throughout the day. If I have a lazy day, Sure, it might feel good for like an hour, but I feel terrible at the end of the day for not doing anything. And I don't know, I just, I'm not someone who can just like lay on the couch and watch Netflix all day long. I just feel like I didn't accomplish anything, the day was wasted. So I need to constantly be doing things. And yesterday my feet started hurting, my hands, I, I think it's like carpal tunnel for pregnancy. When I squeeze my hands, it hurts and they do look a little bit swollen. I let the doctor or the nurse know that too because I was like, okay, this is another symptom. My hands are like really tight and hurt. Um, I think I've just been doing too much, um, which like I said, I like doing, but I think I need to slow it down and relax a little bit more and just maybe work at a slower pace because I love vlogging and I'm also working with a bunch of companies and then I have the boutique and I'm just constantly doing things. I'm constantly like cleaning or doing dishes or just trying to get things done and it's a great feeling. It really is. But I think it's just too much for me right now, which sucks. <laughs> um, but even when I was like writing your notes, I was like, oh my God, my hand hurts from like writing notes from writing, um, like I write a little note, if you guys order, I write a little note in there. And I'm like, wow, my hand hurts. Um, so that's what's going on. I'm trying to do my makeup and I look like a freaking potato right now. But that's what happened this morning and I'm just trying a little bit to take it easy. Although I have to ship orders today, I have to go pick up a prescription I got prescribed baby aspirin for my blood pressure, so I have to go pick that up. Mind you, I haven't taken medicine since June. It's not like I'm anti-medicine, because that's not the case at all. It's just, I felt so good not taking any medicine, like not needing to take any medicine, you know, since June. If I did have like a little headache throughout my pregnancy so far, I was like, no, my body can recover on its own. But now I'm prescribed baby aspirin that I have to take every single day. So that's kind of unfortunate. But I do hope that it helps my blood pressure, I guess. Um, so that's the story. That's what's going on. My heart rate right now is 104. I'm going to take my blood pressure again before I head out. I have to drop off an order from my aunt. 
um, and then go to the post office and then pick up the prescription. So that's my plan of attack for today. And then I need to film a video for a brand. So, you know, I'm fine with it. I'm fine with it. But I do think I need to take the advice of others and just slow down. Um, so that's where my mindset is. I'm gonna do mascara off camera and probably get out of these pajamas because that would be a scene if I walked out like this. Uh, so I will talk to you guys in a second. Alrighty, whoa, it's a wild day. I'm here with Puff. We just got the mail. He probably wants to go out there. You wanna sit with me for a minute? Huh? Say hi. We wanna go over there. You can go over there. So I haven't updated you guys in a couple of hours, but I ended up going to the hospital. I just got an EKG because I knew I needed to get one because my doctor wanted me to go a couple times to get EKGs. So I went and it was fine. It was normal, so that's good. Um, I still have to keep on checking my blood pressure, but I feel okay. I definitely feel a lot better than I did this morning. This morning I was like full of anxiety. The baby is going crazy right now, kicking. Okay, you can go over there. Go on. I also just got a package in the mail and this was so delayed. I feel bad because shipping is 100% delayed for a lot of carriers and depending on like where you live, your town, it's just you never know the situation. So this did take a long time, but I finally got it and it's a dress from Shop Starlo. And it's super cute. Do you want to see it? Okay, it's kind of like a cow, but I'm into it. It's like a brown cow. Oh, yes, honey. So it's supposed to show off the bump. And trust me, the bump is popping. So this is what it looks like. I think it's going to be really cute when I actually look put together. This is what it looks like. So cute. It's like a tie dye, but kind of like a brown cow print. I don't know. It reminds me of a cow. Um, so I got that from Shop Starlo. So I want to, I want to continue to take bump photos because I personally love looking at those, like on other people's Instagram. I love looking back and like looking at bump photos. So I'm gonna take a photo in that probably in a few days when I'm 28 weeks. But wow, this thing is out to play. The um, lady who was doing, or the girl that was doing my EKG, she was so nice. She was pregnant too with a boy. And she was so nice, she helped calm me down. I just love nice people. They're the best. Um, but I think I'm gonna go in. I'm really, really tired. I have to, me and Erica today are ordering a bunch of clothes for our boutique. So that's exciting because we'll be able to launch them for the new year. Hopefully the first week of January, we'll launch a ton of things. So. We're hunting for cute clothes today and placing a few orders. So that's what we're gonna do. Um, definitely more of a chill, relaxing day. But I think I'll go through a couple of my drawers like I did yesterday. I did foundations yesterday. Now I wanna do concealers and primers and maybe my blushes. So we're gonna do that and wait for Scott to come home, right? Yeah. Okay, I could tell Teddy's like antsy. He doesn't want to be in the car anymore. So we'll go inside, okay? We'll go inside. Come on. All right. I will talk to you guys once I am decluttering. Don't show your butt. All right, so it's time to declutter. I have primers and concealers. So this is what we're going to go through today. And then I'll try and do my blushes and bronzers. So I have my primers on this side, concealers on this side. Some of them get got a little mixed up but it's okay let's go through this so first I'm gonna keep this because it's brand new and I haven't used it yet glam glow super mattify primer we're gonna keep this oh my god this is one of my favorite primers pores no more by dr. Brandt this is so great at filling in any pores it's so smoothing if you haven't tried this it's like velvet on your skin it just makes it so smooth and flawless looking so we're definitely keeping this Tatcha, another one, 100% you need. So keeping this. Laura Mercier Hydrating um, Primer. We're gonna keep that as well. Oh, and I've been really liking this Milk Blur one. Very tacky and sticky, but it's been working well for me. 
And I'm also gonna keep this from Charlotte Tilbury, Wonder Glow. This is very glowy and dewy, but I'm into it. Oh my goodness. I'll move it over a little bit more. Here you go. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of this CoverGirl Vitalist Glow. I don't remember loving this. I'm gonna get rid of that one. Um, Primed and Peachy. I'll give this another try, but I don't think I loved it. I will try it out again and see how I like it, but I'm pretty sure it was like pilling up, so I don't know. We'll see. I'll give it another try. I do love, oh no, I love this one. The Coconut Skin Smoothie Primer from First Aid Beauty. This one's great and it smells so good. So I'm going to keep this one super hydrating. Um, Illa Masca. I haven't used this enough. I'm going to try this out because I haven't used it enough to actually give like a good opinion on it. Okay, I'm not doing well at like getting rid of them. Uh, I'll get rid of this one, Cover Effects Calming Primer. Didn't see this do a whole lot and it's almost empty, so we'll get rid of that. I'll also get rid of this illuminating one from CoverGirl. Kind of looks broken up in there. I'm going to get rid of this What's Up. This is a highlighter. I don't know why it's in here, but it's definitely old. Oh my god, I have another one. That's great. Great news. I haven't tried this enough, so I'm going to keep this Prep and Hydrate from Lancome. I feel like a lot of these were like hidden. I don't think I like this Hydra Blur Primer from Dermalogica. I'm going to get rid of that. This, there's like barely anything in that, so I'm going to get rid of that. This I love. Is this the cover? I have no idea. This is from Ula Henriksen, the Banana Bright Face Primer. I do love this. I will keep it. I also really like the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. Wow, that's a mouthful. Um, this is very similar to the Tatcha one, so if you don't want to spend the money on Tatcha, this is very similar. So I'm going to keep that. I don't think I love this Bye Bye Pores Primer from It Cosmetics. Don't think I was the biggest fan, so we're going to toss that. I'm going to get rid of the Professional. This is the Pearl Primer. Me. I did like this. This is an anti-wrinkle miracle worker primer from Philosophy. We're going to keep this. Didn't like this one. CoverGirl True Blend Base. We're going to get rid of that. I do like the Smashbox one. This one's nice, nice like silicone feeling. Love the Cover Effects Illuminating Primer. The Illuminating one is so good, but there's like nothing in this, so we're going to get rid of it. Ooh, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Pores Be Gone Matte Primer. We will keep. This one's full. The Hydrating one with Hyaluronic Acid. We're going to keep from First Aid Beauty. The Water Cloud Primer. I don't use this enough. I feel like this is always on the bottom. Definitely going to start using this. Tinted Moisturizer. Shouldn't really go in here, but I'll put this off to the side. Blurring primer. This feels like empty and I think it's like old, so I'm gonna get rid of that. I think I like this one from CoverGirl, the pore minimizing one, so we'll keep that. And the good molecules, I don't remember how I felt about this, so we'll keep it. These little minis, I will keep because I don't remember again. <laughs> I really don't. And then this, this is a luminous blur stick. Oh, should I give this another try? I literally don't think I even, I don't know. I think I used it once. I'm gonna give this another try. We'll try okay, it. Let's dive into these concealers. So I just put these First Aid Beauty ones in here and I do really like First Aid Beauty, these avocado ones. I'm telling you, so good. What, what am I doing? I'm putting them over here. So good, definitely keeping those. I love the Tarte Shape Tape, so light neutral we're keeping. What's this one? Light sand we're keeping. Are those the only two I have? Yeah, so we're gonna keep these. All right, Born This Way. Wow, this is one of my favorite concealers ever. Definitely keeping light beige. This one's nude, I think this one's just a little bit lighter. Almond, I should keep these all. Natural beige, I've got a lot. And light beige. 
let me look at this because I feel like one of them is more empty. I think this one's like on its way out. So I'm going to get rid of this light beige because I'm pretty sure that's why I got another one. So we're going to keep these four. Definitely like such a good formula. Good coverage and creamy, hydrating. Okay, let's see. I do like this for like before you put concealer on just to brighten up underneath your eye. I'm going to keep that. I'm also going to keep this Becca Brightening Corrector. I'm going to get rid of this Stay Matte. I think it's a little bit too dark anyway. Sorry, baby. I'm also going to get rid of this CoverGirl Vitalist one. Wow. I'm going to keep... Nope, I'm going to get rid of this too. I'm going to keep the Jouer because I don't know how it works. I don't remember. Oh, I could give this... I could give this away to a friend. Yeah, I could do that. So let me put that off to the side. I don't even know why it's in here. Next, Givenchy. I don't like this. I used this the other day and I was like, oh, this did nothing. So getting rid of it. The Urban Decay Naked Stay Naked Concealer. This one's good. I have two of them. Yeah, these are good. I'm going to keep these. Fenty I like and the Light Neutral from Naked Skin. That's a good one. And then this one didn't love. So I'm gonna get rid of that. Okay, so I'm getting rid of all that. And then I'm keeping all this. So I just have to clean this out and reorganize. All right, so this is what the drawer looks like after. A lot more organized and clean. And then I'm just getting rid of all of this. Next, I have these two drawers and a lot are blushes, bronzers, and highlighters. So I figured we could go through these now, these aren't my most used ones because I have a drawer that I use like almost every single day, but these are like extras. So there's a lot I don't use in here. So let's go through it. So first, starting over here, what I am going to keep, I really do love these tart blushes. So I'm gonna keep these for sure. Also, I love MAC and this is Melba, one of the prettiest shades, keeping that for sure. Teddy, what are you doing? Okay, these buxom ones. Let's see. This one looks pretty. This one's Wanderlust. I'm going to keep this one, but this is a little too corally, so I'm going to get rid of that. And then, what's this one? Oh, this is called Wanderlust Seychelles, and this one is Wanderlust Dolly. I'm going to keep these two because I really like a bronze blush. I'm also going to keep this Sephora one because that one's really bright and like different. I am going to get rid of this pretty vulgar one. What are you doing? Huh? You okay? Oh, now it looks pretty when I open it. Okay, never mind. I'm keeping this. I thought it was like brighter. Um, Let's see. The Too Faced one I'm going to keep because I really like this color. This one from Anastasia is a trio. I like never use this. Mm, this isn't a maybe. Maybe. I'm not sure. Moving on to these. I'm going to get rid of California from Benefit because it's too bright. Look at how blinding that is. It's like too bright and orangey. Gold Rush I will keep because it's kind of like that bronzy kind of color that I like with some gold shimmer. And oof, I'm going to get rid of this. This is like too warm of a bronzer. We're doing good, Ted. We're doing so good. Bahama Mama I'm going to keep. Hot Mama I'm going to get rid of. I think it's like too shiny for me. NARS Madly, I'm going to keep. It's very light, but I'm still going to keep it. I don't remember how I felt about this highlight. <laughs> so I'm going to keep it and clean it. I have so many like pencil shavings in here. This Jouer highlight, we're definitely keeping. <gasps> oh no. Oh my God, that's terrible. Okay, I think I can save it. 
okay, we're saving it, but I'm gonna have to do some work to it. Um, this brush, let's put it off to the side. Pixie highlighters. Don't sleep on Pixie highlighters, okay? Do you see that? They are literally wet looking. Let's see what this Fenty one is. This is pretty from Fenty, we're keeping. Cookie, we're keeping. Cookie is so glittery, but like in the best possible way. So nice. And NARS Unlawful. I've talked about this blush so much in the past. I need a new one, but best blush. Best blush there is. Okay, I have to open this because I don't remember what it looks like, so I'm just going to keep that off to the side. Let's just grab this one because they're all mixed up with like the blushes and the bronzers and whatnot. Like I said, I'm keeping the Tarte blushes. Brush can go away. Okay, now what to do? Ofra. Ofra is blinding. Glow goals we're keeping. Rodeo Drive, 100% keeping. Bali. Ugh, to be in Bali right now. That is... <laughs> we are keeping them all, okay? Ofra is worth it. Now, Becca, let's see. Prosecco Pop. I have. To, I feel like I have to keep all these. I'm bad when it comes to highlighters because I feel like, actually, you know what? I'm going to get rid of Opal. Opal is like their classic one. It looks like this, but it's almost too ashy on me. Do you see how it like pulls more gray? We're going to get rid of it. Um, Champagne Pop, classic. We're going to keep that. This little guy, Artist Couture, Conceited. Yes, honey. Okay, I think this is a Givenchy like bronzer blush. No, bronzer highlighter. Oh, nope. And this is old. Look at how bulky this packaging is. But how, mm, wow. I think I don't grab this because I'm like, oh, it's probably not pretty because it's in this big bulky packaging. But that looks pretty. We keeping. Bobbi Brown. I don't use this enough, but I'm going to start. We can get rid of this Lancome Click and Glow. We can also get rid of this because I never use it. Keeping this. Keeping this. Mary Luminizer. Obviously have to keep that. Another Jouer one. Please don't be broken. It's like a light golden, yes. We're gonna keep this cover girl because look at how stunning that looks. These wet and wild ones, hmm. I don't know, I'm gonna get rid of them. I don't know if they did it for me. This Kevin Aquan, let's see what this is from Kevin. Kevin? Okay, you look pretty. <gasps> I'll give you another go. And this from Fenty. I okay, literally haven't even touched this. Maybe I should just give it a try. I'll try it. Because I'm not going to toss it. Because it's brand new. So I'll give it a try. All right, let me organize and put everything back. All right, so it is much more clean and organized. This is what I'm keeping. All right here. I tried to put most of my highlighters in there and then blushes and like a couple of bronzers in there. And then that's my pile of declutter. So I'm gonna put these away now and I feel good cause it's a lot more neat and clean and organized. You guys, I just cooked, mind you I never cook, but I just cooked um, for a brand and now I'm just relaxing. I kind of made it smoky in here, <laughs> but it's okay. Um, it actually came out so good. I'm so impressed with myself. I made a meal, Teddy. Don't get mad because I didn't give you any. <laughs> but Scott's on his way home. It does not feel like a Friday at all to me. Does it feel like a Friday to you? Christmas is one week away from today, which is insane. And I still have so many packages that are delayed. <sighs> but it's okay. Hopefully they'll get here in time. But I think I'm going to end my vlog now. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I will see you guys tomorrow.